Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the untechnical tech channel. We're looking at some speakers, man. Let me tell y'all something, this ain't on me. This is on Wilson, this is solely on Wilson. Wilson woke up today, walked into my house and immediately chose violence. He's the one that came up with that thumbnail about JBL, like Walmart being better than JBL. It wasn't me guys, I'm just the spokesperson. Wilson is the brains behind this and he chose violence, okay? So any ill will, any tire slashings, car keys, uh, threats or anything, they need to be directed towards Wilson. Hashtag, what's, our, what's gonna be our hashtag, Wilson? <laughs> hashtag Will, Wilson sucks or hashtag Wilson is, is, you yeah, know, is bad hashtag, judgment. Hashtag I don't stand with Wilson anymore. <laughs> hashtag we don't stand with Wilson no more. Because today we're going to be doing a comparison between the brand new, well, it's kind of brand new, JBL Extreme 4, okay, versus this On. What is this thing called? The On Party Boombox? Something like that. It's like FM Party it's Box. It's not necessarily like something that they call, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't have a name. It's just the On boombox as you can see here it's got these lights on it the lights are lighting i mean i like that you know what i'm saying it's, it's cool and it's it's a good speaker man we we actually found this if you ever checked out my last video man we we were just here we went to walmart we scooped up a bunch of speakers scooped up three of them this one for 16 dollars and then we got the on little tiny little desk yeah, speaker. there was no name for that one it was like rigid speaker rigid yeah software. rugged speaker the on rugged speaker was that 16 bucks? 15. 15 bucks. Yeah. And then we got a Skull Candy XT. No, it was an ounce XT. Ounce XT, which was hot garbage, hot basura. <laughs> how was... do you say, how do you say hot basura? Wait, it's, it's uh, how do you say hot basura fresh? caliente? Basura caliente. <laughs> That's what that speaker was. Yes. <laughs> it was hot trash, man. So, but this one right here, this is a gym. And we did not compare them that day, but today we did behind the scenes before the camera turned on. And I feel like it's a competitor. I think this is a solid competitor, man. So what we're looking at is $68 versus $379, okay? That's a lot, that, that's a lot. Matter of fact, you could take the $300 off this price tag and you still pay more than what you would pay here. But like, is it, is it gonna be worth it? Like because it's JBL, you know, you got good build quality versus an all plastic design, but you got lights, bro. Some of us cannot build without having lights. I can, personally. <laughs> I'm not a lights guy. Unless they're on the side, then I can turn them off or just have a glow. But this right here, I don't like this, man. What, what about you? Uh, I'm indifferent. Indifferent? Yeah. I you gotta take a side. As long as I have an option to turn it off if I wanna turn it off, that's really all that matters to me. All right, so Wilson, I'm gonna do, let's just spoil the video, which one, do you choose? Man, you're gonna throw me in the fire like that? In the fire, in the caliente. <laughs> in the fuego? In the fuego, yeah. yes. <laughs> Which one do you choose? Now, so how do we how do we help you with this, Wilson? Do we say we take money out so they're both the same price at nah, this point? Man, it's such a crazy difference in price. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's $68 versus $379. Yeah, so it's insane. Okay, let's just try to ignore the money aspect. Let's talk about features. Right here, we got full on durability, man. Look at this. You can just drop it. We'll see, I can't even keep up with it. You can just drop <laughs> it. it for you. It's gonna be just fine <laughs> if you drop it. This thing is built like a freaking tank, man. You got a detachable battery. You can get a special star key and put it in there, pull this battery out and swap it out for a new one if you want to. Let's say this battery just breaks. It just doesn't charge up anymore which it should for $379. This should last you a long time, but sometimes things happen, right? You don't have to throw away your speaker, you can get a new battery. Somebody tell me in the comments how much that costs. But uh, get a new battery, or you can just hot swap if you want to, just swap it out. Now you got another 24 hours worth of battery life, okay? You got durability here with the, you know, the outside, you know, you don't get scratches on it. You got nice build materials. You got metal shackles because you do get a strap with a Corona opener attached. Wilson loves the Corona opener. Best feature. This is like his favorite feature. Then you got, uh, of course, the mesh. I, I love the mesh because it's it's scratch proof. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got AuraCast, meaning you can partner this thing up with a lot of other speakers. Uh, so that's that's always nice. You can do it within the app. And I think, 
And I don't think I don't remember being able to do this without the app, the Oracast. I think you need the app because yeah. uh, all the other speakers use a different kind of system. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but it works. And when it works, it works well, and it's a really good feature because you can do stereo pairing and multiple speaker pairing as well. Uh, what else is good about this thing? IP uh, uh, IP six seven yeah, it floats. on the JBL. It does float. It does float. Okay. Five band EQ. Five band EQ. That's going to be important coming up. Uh, before we move on to that next thing, is there anything else? Uh, you can charge your phone out. So you got a USB C port right there. And you, there is no speaker booty. It's just open, exposed, <laughs> right? But you can charge your phone off of it. And that's pretty much it. What do you think? Anything else special about it? I think that's pretty much it. In generalized, yeah. With what I just told you, is that worth $379? If uh, it sounds pretty, let's say it sounds pretty good, right? Is that worth $379 to you? I mean, if you don't know any better, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Okay, let's move over to the on, we're going to call this the on boombox. That's fine. Cool. All right, this is a special feature, standout special feature. Dude, we've got a freaking, oh, what is this called? LCD panel? Some kind of screen. It's a screen. Let's call it a screen. It's got a freaking screen. And you know what this is? This is a screen that tells you what the speaker is doing. Look, it says BT. That means Bluetooth. I can go volume up. It tells you like what the volume levels are. That's pretty clutch right there because, you know, instead of just going halfway. No, man, I'm on 17. What you know about 17 and 16 and 15? This also has an FM radio on it. Dude. Do you still listen to the radio? I don't really listen to the radio. I, I get sick of the commercials and like all the nonsense and the four songs that they play on repeat all the time. I've digressed, but I just needed to talk about this radio. Then outside of the screen, we got the capability of taking phone calls. I don't know what this mic is like. It could be hot garbage, but they still give you a mic. <laughs> so if you need to catch a phone call, in just like a clutch situation, like let's say you're making some spaghetti, right? You're doing your meatballs. You do meatballs in your spaghetti? Yeah, I do. Okay, you're doing your meatballs. You know what I'm saying? You got your, your hand, got your, the meat, <laughs> the meat and stuff all in your hands, right? And like, I don't know, the phone rings. And so you need to catch that phone call. You're like, you stick your elbow in there like that. And then you catch your phone call. You, you got a freaking speakerphone. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to use it for, but it's there and available if you want it. You also have the lights feature, which you can kind of change up a little bit. But if you just want to turn them off, you can turn them off. Wilson, should we do the rest of the video with them off or on? Let's leave them on. You're getting a little busy over there. <laughs> You're the one looking at it. I'm not looking at it. I'm fine with it. It's triggering the hell out of me. <laughs> Let me turn it back on for you. All right. Yeah, let's make them smooth. Let's make them red. Then you got the bass boost button, which we have determined doesn't really provide you more bass per se. It's just more, more power. More ugh. You know what I mean? Mm. Or is it a mm or a mm? Or mm. it's like, ooh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you get more with it, right? What else is on here? You can partner these up with another speaker. Not a whole bunch of them, but you can stereo pair. I hope I'm saying that right, because I really didn't look that deep into it, but I'm pretty sure it is literally just stereo pairing. IPX7, meaning that it is submersible, it will float, but if you got some dust around, dust your house, you know, it's, it's, it, it could, you know, get into your speaker. If you take it to the beach, you could have some ingress. Most likely not. I think we actually went to the beach this past weekend. I did not bring this one. I should have, but I think this, this could be easily a go-to beach speaker. I say so. Forget that IPX rating. I, I think, think, I think you're good. You could probably just wash it down. I mean, it looks like just sand can get in through the grill, but pretty much. Yeah, and then it'll just kind of fall right out once yeah. it dries. Let's right. look at this speaker booty. On has got a speaker booty. Look at that. On. We're going to take that speaker booty off or open. And then, oh, snap. So we got USB-C back there. We got USB-A and a 3.5 millimeter aux jack. Dude, how many of y'all still rocking? mp3 players and jacking in from your phone everybody always requests that but who how many people actually use it i'm wondering i don't think a lot of people use it considering the fact that companies like jbl actually take it away now yeah were they trying to apple us were, were they trying to apple us <laughs> you like being apple i don't like being apple dude that is, sounds bad it does sound bad <laughs> sounds pretty nasty <laughs> The next standout feature is the built-in handle. Everybody knows I love a solid handle for speakers this size. I like to grab and go. 
This right here is like a really heavy freaking football. So you got to attach these, these, uh, the strap onto the shackles and then you got a strap and you can wrap it around your hand if you want to, but uh, I think I would just rather see a handle on the JBL Extreme Series versus a strap. Dude, we talk about this all the time. Seriously, what would you prefer on that? A handle. A handle? 100%. It just makes sense for something that small. Yeah. I wouldn't, a handle like this is fine, but me personally, I would love either one of those Sony XG300 handles that retracts. Oh, yeah. Or a scoop. That'd be nice. Like too. a recessed scoop in there. Like you just scoop your hand back there and just pick it up. All right. So based on this, would this be worth $69 or $68? I mean. You haven't heard it yet. You haven't heard it yet. Yeah. So are we talking $68 or would you pay more for the value I just gave you? I mean, it sounds like amazing value for what it is. <laughs> okay. How much do you think that value is worth? In terms of what? In terms of money, dollars. Compared to the JBL? No. Just if I said, I'm going to give you a speaker that sounds pretty good. I'm going to give you lights. I'm going to give you a, a 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm going to give you pairing capability. There is no app though. I'm going to give you a radio. I'm going to give you a speakerphone. That way you can answer the phone while you're cooking meatballs. I'm giving you all this with a handle. How much do you expect to pay? Like 150 150 Maybe 200 so like double the price? I probably think so. If I was, if I didn't know anything better, probably. Dude, now we got to talk about sound. I know you all want to know the one question. I know you always want to know the answer to that one question. So here we go. But do they jam know? Yourself. You get to make your own decisions, but I'm going to tell you what I like. Now, personally, I think the JBL is the best speaker all around as far as build quality, uh, offerings and everything like that, and especially in sound quality on all levels, uh, whether it be the lower, lower volumes, mid volumes and higher volumes. I think JBL just carries good, better quality, but the on boom box is no slouch. This thing is killing it. All right. It's just it's good. I, I can't find anything to complain about. It's just, this one's just the better speaker. Now, Wilson, which one would you prefer? Honestly, the JBL is too fucking expensive for what it is. Dude, why are you, why are you throwing shade at JBL? <laughs> so, wait a minute. You just go pick this one? I'm just going to pick that one. I can't even breathe. <laughs> Look, man, <laughs> I told y'all, Wilson woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> hey y'all look <laughs> i can't even breathe bro <laughs> dude i don't care if it even has a corona opener all right like i know it's that's the, the best corona feature. opener it's the best feature on that thing but really like come on man 300 something almost 400 dollars for it it is a little ridiculous on the price tag it's but it's, that is better though sure <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say hey, man my name is antoine what's going on richardson <laughs> <laughs> and y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Dude, you kill him.